Good day. It's Tuesday, so we're just riding that money moves Monday wave. Um, today's gonna be a busy day. We got sessions from one to nine. <sighs> and then I'm work team meeting with the studio owner from nine to 10. So I'm in for it on this Tuesday. But I fueled up with some Huel. You guys know I love that Huel. Um, I'm stoked for the tour. We leave in, well, essentially tomorrow night, so because the flight's 5.30 in the morning on Thursday. So, yep, well, let's do it. We're headed out to the stew. Look at that fucking mountain. Look at that mountain I live by. Look at this. You can't even see the top because it's covered in beautiful, uh, it's not even doing it justice on the camera. Whatever, let's dip. Stop. Harmon's got to get some delicious food to start the day. Oh shit, I left my salad right there when I set up the camera so it doesn't look real. What do you do, huh? What do you do? We're in the stew, and um, I have to clean it. I need to clean it. I need to take out the garbage. I need to vacuum. I need to get it all nice. The reason I like to do that is because it's like the Food Network kitchen. I say this all the time. People that hear me talk know this. Um, the Food Network kitchen, wouldn't you rather cook in there? Like the nice like Food Network kitchen with like the all the ingredients are like pre-measured and just ready to go, you know? And um, Or would you rather cook in like stinky old like gross kitchen and when, I, when I say cook I mean cook beats like my my files they're organized my studio it's clean my mind is clean my body is clean so my senses can detect the reality that we're in so everything I do I do it clean and then my sound my music which is my main creative outlet becomes clean fuck with me it's one of my best tips Clean your shit. Let's do it. Session one is over for the day, and we got Wapsock in the building. What up? Let's do this. Special guest in the studio today. The one and only. The what's upon a timer. Hello. The unicorn of the production team. It's Deets. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Word. So, I figured out what you guys saw last. It seems like when the studio transitions to night, because it's nighttime now, I always go like, where did I leave off? Um, I trained my eight year old. I have an eight year old student and he's badass. We just went through a kick processing chain. And he like, I only showed him one time and then he just, he knew the chain and he put his master below negative three. It's like amazing. Um, we got two more sessions and then team meeting. So probably three hours more of stuff and then it's out, we're out till, um, well till tomorrow. But tomorrow's only a couple classes and then it's the airport so it's like, Kind of today's my last like full day of like work, you know what I'm saying? So let's get this last class or last couple classes. What the fuck? See, I'm losing it. I'm losing it.
These are the three kings of audio, and it's just it's just my opinion, just like everything is. But um, the most important thing you could possibly manage or deal with or be concerned about when trying to get a, a clean quality mix is the volume itself, just the volume faders. But today you just learned basically dry signal and wet signal. So the second king of audio is reverb. But what that really means is the second king of audio is also volume. Yeah. Just volume of your wet signal. Does that make sense? Yeah. So volume of your dry, volume of your wet, and the ratio between the two. Massive. And it's he like this is seriously one of my biggest lessons, like right now, right here, right now, like mm -hmm. right here. Volume. Like volume of the volume of the dry. Vet. The volume of the vet. Um, and then the third king of audio would be compression, in my opinion. If there was four kings, their EQ would be the fourth. Okay. Um, compression is also volume. <laughs> it's just your dynamic control. Everything's based around volume. It is. So the king of kings is volume. Okay. And then wet volume. And then essentially volume control or like dynamics, right? Yeah. So those are the three kings of audio. Okay. And so when you're mixing and dealing with your ish, it's that's what you'll focus on like oh what's too loud in comparison to everything else that's the first thing I listen to no matter what I'm doing if I'm trying to mix down a country song you know if I'm trying to mix down hip hop anything I'm just going what's too loud for what like mm -hmm. okay perfect but then the rest is just simple like oh make sure there's no bass and make sure it's compressed like it's so easy yeah volume so guys, so look you. it's motherfucking district in the gang or wait in the, in the house oh this is a sick shirt dude I got your uh... Moombaton? You got me a Moombaton? Oh, Look at my boss's S4. Ooh. Ooh. Kill him. Kill him. Now that's a pretty sick whip, right? Fucking hell. I wish, I wish I had one. Let's go check out my whip. I guess for a while you just work late nights and you drive shitty cars but then as you get older i'll probably work less late and have sh nicer cars see what happens huh <laughs> we're headed to o-town fucking love this vlog i find how have i not been vlogging it's fun it's really fun <laughs> let's do it first stop in o-town my parents house they have brief or suitcases i don't have a suitcase and so whoa there's my sister what's up good to see you Hi, Scout. What's up, Scout? I was eating chocolate, so my mouth was like disgusting. So <laughs> I learned today that X plus 24 equals 73. What? No. Only if X. Who would X be? Is 51. 49. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> Suitcase, su suitcase acquired. <laughs> suitcase acquired. Um, we're back from the stew. We got a little tree to take care of, and um, a lot of packing and a little laundry. It's probably going to be a late night, so let's get to it, huh? Look how nice my helpers are. Okay. Slaves. <laughs> Slaves. Free us! <laughs> <laughs> They're folding all the shirts. Do you have an XL Paradox pile? XL Shit's coming soon. The album. The album. I heard there's some boys named Eric and Andrew who may or may not have put a beat on this album. Let's see. I'm listening to some like Indian influence dub house. I don't know. Some jungle weed. I think it's jungle weed. Let's see. Oh, no, the, blind, the, the Black Mantis Project live, not a Raha. 
um, go to bed. I never use a suitcase. I've been packing. This is the Ranger roll. This is a pair of underwear. You see that? A pair of underwear. This is a tank top. See? This is a pair of spandex pants. This is maybe dog shit on my shoe. It's okay, those are old as fuck. Roche ones. <laughs> Roche ones. <laughs> Can't break. Where's Roche ones? Um, Clay, I'm looking at you. Just kidding, bro. Kinda. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. It was a fun day. Great night. Hope you guys had a fun time watching this. And I hope you're living presently right now. Cause right, there's only other... The only thing that exists is now. I'm high as fuck. Look at my eyes. I'm stoked for the coming days. Tomorrow's gonna be dope. Push waves. Those are the chronicles.